What up, friends? Hope you are doing well. We got a subscriber request for my new friend, Jesse Linen, Linen, something like that. So, uh, the song is Sparrows. Corey Asbury going to teach you guys how to play it. It's actually a really, really easy song to play. Strum pattern, super easy. I'm going to walk you through all of it. So, um, first of all, we're going key of A flat. So, basically, what that means, capo, putting that on the first fret. And then we're playing the G shapes. The good old trusty G shape. So we're gonna need this G, a C, D, E minor, and probably a G over B, I think. Yeah, uh, so if you're new to, to acoustic, if you're new to worship, if you're new to guitar or this channel, um, I'm gonna put a link of, for some of these helpful tips, um, these uh, chords in the key of G. Uh, where my fingers are going uh, for each chord, um, each string. So if you're new, check that out. Um, I'm not going to explain it in depth in this video. Um, so check that out. Uh, so just to, to give you a little blueprint for the lesson, you know I love a good blueprint. Uh, verse 1, going to give you the chords, the strum pattern. Then chorus, the... Uh, the chords, obviously, we need the chords, the strum pattern. Verse two is a little bit different than verse one, so we'll walk through verse two, hit the bridge, hit the instrumental, hit the chorus, and then shut it down. So here's what the first verse is gonna be. Starts on the C, and then it goes to a D, and then it goes to a G, and then to an E minor. So one quick thing to note, this G, I mean, you can do a G over B or a G, just a regular G. I don't think it's really going to matter. Um, so just a quick FYI on that. So this is where the chords and the lyrics are just kind of flowing. Um, starts on the C. The sparrow's not worried about tomorrow or the troubles to come. The lily's not thinking about the seasons, the drought or the flood. So just a quick thing there, the second time through, it hangs on to the G chord. So, um, the lily's not thinking about the seasons, the drought or the flood. So instead of going to that E minor, it just stays on the G. Um... Same thing with the last kind of two parts of the first verse. Uh, um, the drought or the flood, a, a tree that's planted by the water, isn't phased by the fire. So why should I? So let me just unpack that a little bit. I'm going to go through uh, that one more time because I feel like that was maybe a little choppy. A little messy. So just gonna be down strums. The sparrow's not worried about tomorrow or the troubles to come. The lily's not thinking about the seasons, the drought or the flood. A tree that's planted by the water and isn't faced by the fire. So I should I? So that feels a little bit better. That'll give you an idea as to where the chords change. Now let me give you just the, the strum pattern. Uh, it's going to be really basic. Um, I'll give you two. One is for a super, super beginner. Uh, the other one's just, they're basically the same. You're just adding in a little bit of an extra uh, down strum. So it would be like this. This... Uh, So you're just doing the down, 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 up on each chord. Down, down, up, down, 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 up. Is it phased by the fire? Why should I? 
So you could do that, um, or if you were just a beginner, you could just do two down strums. The sparrow's not worried about tomorrow or the troubles to come. The lily's not thinking about the seasons, the drought or the flood. So if you're just super new to strumming, you can start with just two down strums on those and then just slowly start incorporating maybe a little bit more rhythm um, into those uh, strums. So that uh, that's, takes care of the first verse. Let's get into the chorus. So the chorus is going to be C to the D. And you can do a G over B here. Um, or, or just a regular G if you wanted to. I would probably go with the G over B. Um, I mean, you could even do a B minor if you wanted to. I know I just said three different chords if you wanted to. The way it's charted, it's a G over B. So we'll stick with that. Um, so the, the chorus starts off on the C, D, G over B, E minor. And... Uh, um, it, it uh, goes back to the D and then to the C. So I'll just do a quick walkthrough uh, down strum wise and then I'll show you the strum pattern. So we're coming out of the verse. Because you take good care of me You take good care of me You know what I need before I even ask a thing Hold me in your hands The kindness that never ends I'm carried in your love No matter what the future brings You take good care of me And then that goes into verse 2. So just um, let's, let's unpack that chorus just maybe a smidge. So uh, strumming, just down strums. Cause you take good care of me D, uh, C to the D You take good care of me Here's the G over B to the E minor You know what I need before I even ask a thing You hold me in your hands The kindness that never ends I'm carried in your love No matter what the future brings yeah, you take good care of me. So those are down strums showing you where the chords change, what we're doing. Basic strum pattern, down, down, up, up, down, down. You hit that for every um, every chord. So the, the super uh, just kind of basic one is down, down, up, up, down, down. And if you've been watching me for a little while, if you're a subscriber, you know I just my what I like to do is add an extra down up when I'm transitioning chords just to make it a little bit smoother and a little bit less awkward silence, you know, a little bit just kind of smooth and cruising into that next chord. So it would sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So if you just were basic, just learning, I would just do this. Down, down, up, up, down, down. 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 Until you get a little bit more rhythm. I know strumming can be tough, so. And then just one thing. Um, you know, just to mix it up, maybe for the second verse or the, the maybe the second chorus, add in some of these some of these different voicings that you've seen me do videos on, like this uh, C shaped uh, D chord. 
uh, you know, that slide up uh, D, um, you know, to the slide up E minor. Um, we got a lot of slide ups, you know, you have this G shaped slide up C. I'll put a link for, for those videos up top in the description, but this is just kind of a really nice way to break up the playing as from just the traditional chords. <laughs> And plus, they, they kind of sound a little bit different. They're still the same chords that we're using. You know, the C, the D, the E minor, but they're just different voicings. So, you know, it would sound something like this. You take good care of me. the D. So you've got like, uh, let's see, C, D, G over B, E minor. So you could just easily do C, you take good care of me. You take good care of me. You know what I need before I even ask a thing. You hold me in your C hands with a kindness that never ends. Carried in your love, no matter what the cost. Yeah, you take good care of me. Just, you know, something like that, just to mix things up just a little bit. Um, so if you have questions, definitely let me know. Let's go to verse 2, because it is a little bit different than verse 1. So verse 2, um, the it starts off in the C, D, and then it just goes to the to the one chord to the G chord. So the sun does not worry about tomorrow, the winter, soon it will pass. The light's not thinking about the darkness, so the shadow it casts. Doesn't dwell in So the first couple lines, you're just doing the C, D, um, to the G, and then you add in on the last part, uh, a heart that's planted by forgiveness doesn't dwell in the past, so why should I? So that just gives you a quick little rundown on that small change for verse 2. So then we get into the interlude. The interlude before the bridge um, is the same chords as the bridge. So it's going to be the D, E minor, C. Um, so you're going to do it twice. And let's see. So it's going to be like... And I know there must be more I can't get past your kindness And I know there's got to be more But, but I can't get past your goodness And I know there must be more But I can't get past your kindness And I know there's got to be more But I can't get past your goodness Yeah, you take good care of me so just um, the the strum pattern for the bridge. It's the same strum pattern as we were doing for the verse. So the down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And again, this bridge, you know, you might play those traditional shapes the first time through, and then if you do it again, or you do it at, maybe you just, you know, do the bridge at the end, you're doing your own thing. Add some of these shapes, these different uh, voicings. So, I know there must be more, but do, do, do. You 
know, just kind of be creative. You can play different things. Um, yeah, so just kind of mix it up, mix up your playing a little bit. And then you'll cruise back into the chorus and just, you know, end it however you want to end it, worship to it, flow to it. Um, but that's a wrap that shows you how to play the song, Sparrows by Corey Asbury. I hope it helps you guys out. Uh, I think it will. Cool song, easy song. Very uh, lyrically, spiritually, biblically deep song with a lot of the lyrics in there. Um, so that's always awesome. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Drop a comment, say what's up. Go to the community tab on my page. Um, you know, there's some Bible verses of the week, some scriptures, some devotions, some live stream stuff, some updates on what's going on. So head over there. Just, you know, maybe drop your name, where you're from, say what's up. You know, I love engaging and chatting with you guys and connecting with you on here. Uh, so do that. And then, of course, if you have questions, you know, leave a comment. Um, so that's a wrap. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.